is a beautiful night for baseball here in the Metro, and there's some new things for Storm Chasers fans this season. KETV Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine takes us to Warner Park. Thank you so much. Cotton candy, hot dogs, and high fives with Stormy. All signs baseball season is back at Warner Park. It's hard to believe it's a 14th year at Warner Park, and we're already in our second homestand. Uh, the team's playing great here in Omaha. And this season brings new concession options. Here at Warner Park this year, Hot Dog Nation has been, re been revisited. So it's kind of like your favorite sub shop. So you go up and it's all things hot dogs. Grab and go is new and it's kind of a work in progress as we bring a number of new products in. Already proving to be a home run for fans. But concessions aren't the only thing being added to the plate this year. When you're not here, you can now listen on AM 1290. Uh, so all of our games are broadcast live back on the radio after a year hiatus. All a culmination of months of work. When the fans see the promotional calendar, when the fans see what's going on in the ballpark, it's been six, eight, nine months of work. Preparation in the park may be done, but fans are just gearing up for the start of another Storm Chaser season. Uh, hopefully a lot of wins and uh, maybe going for the championship towards the end of the season. And for lifelong fans. We've been a Storm Chaser fan since, uh, since back in the Rosenblatt days <laughs> when it was the Omaha Royals. This is the best time of the year in their favorite place. You can really feel the energy and the buzz uh, out here in the grandstand. So uh, looking forward to a lot of action and a lot of volume in there in the stadium. Maddie Augustine, KETV, Newswatch 7.